Hi everyone. In this video, we will be learning about state management in Flutter. We use state management when there are several widgets in our application and there is some data that we use in several widgets and that needs to be updated, modified or rebuilt accordingly to the changes that happen inside our application. In that time, we use state management. There are various state management packages that are available. In this video, we will be working with provider because it's very easy and beginner friendly. So let's start. This is our demo Flutter application. To use provider, first we need to install as a dependency inside our app. So simply open terminal and type flutter pub add provider and it will install provider as a dependency. Let us create a new folder naming providers and here we'll be storing our provider. First we'll be creating a counter provider. We'll name the class as counter provider and we'll add extends change notifier. We need to extend it using change notifier because it is the class that will notify if there is any change. Now here we'll create an integer underscore counter and we'll assign the value as zero and we'll set a get method by which we are going to get the value of the counter. It will be get counter. And here we'll be sending our counter. So if we call get counter, then we'll get the value of counter that we are storing here. Now here we'll write two function that will add and subtract the counter. It will be void add counter. It will just add our counter, so make it plus plus. And we need to notify all the listeners. Notifies all the listeners and according to it, it updates the state. Now another function will be reduce count, subtract counter. Here we'll be decreasing our counter. Now we have these three functions. And this is our provider class. Now we'll be creating our home page that will be home.dart. Make it as a stateful widget. Simply add a scaffold and after that inside app bar, we need to give the title as test counter and inside our body, we'll be adding, now we'll be linking this home page with our home inside main, just remove this and use home page. To use provider, we need to use provider at the top of our application. So we'll be using above the material app, we'll create a widget. It will be a change notifier provider. And here we need to call create. And it will be the provider that we have created was counter provider. Now what we are doing here, before calling our material app, we are creating a counter provider. And now with the help of this, we can access counter provider inside our material app from anywhere. And from there we can update or do changes inside our counter provider. 
Now in our body, we'll be using consumer and we need to provide the type of consumer. It will be the type of counter provider. And here we'll be using builder. Here we'll be getting the values. Means the response of the functions that we have created inside counter provider. And here for now, let us just return a text as value dot get counter. And it is an integer, so we need to convert it to string. You can see that here it's showing zero. Just increase the font size. And make the text in center. Now here is our counter. We can create two buttons that will increase and decrease the counter. For updating our UI, according to the changes, we need to use consumer and, and for not updating the UI and for just listening to the changes, we'll be using provider.offcontext. So for buttons, we don't need to use consumers here. Instead, we'll be using bottom navbar. We'll be creating a container. And here we'll have some child as row children's elevated button. First one will be add counter. And second one will be remove counter, reduce counter. Now we have created two buttons. Now we need to call the function that we have created that will add the counter by one and also the subtract counter. To call it, here we'll not be using consumer because we don't need to build rebuild a UI. We need to simply call the function. For that, we'll be using provider dot off context and listen will be to false because we don't need to listen here. Here we need to provide the return type. It was of counter provider. And the function name was add counter. Now if I press this, it will in increment the value of the counter. Now similar to this, if we call this function, and instead of add counter, if we call subtract counter, it will reduce the counter value. So this is how we use provider to update our UI. This was for our simple counter app where we are just adding and reducing counter. For our example, let us consider another use case. If you have several providers, like another provider will be like coin provider or cost provider. It will be sim class cost provider extends change notifier. Now you will here we are creating an int underscore cost variable. It will be used to store the cost. Currently we are setting it to zero. And we will also get the count of total items. For that we'll create another function. It will be total items. We'll also initialize it to zero. Now we need to get this value because this is 
this value is not accessible using the cost provider. For that, we need to create a get function. It will be int get or get total cost. And here we'll send our cost. Next will be get name of the function will be get total items. And here we'll send total items. Now we need to create some function that will do the calculation of the cost and total items. For that, first we'll create like void add item. Here we'll expect the cost. Here we'll expect the amount. Then we'll increase the cost by int. We are just increasing the cost and we will also increase the total items count by one. And we need to notify all the listeners. Similar to this function, we'll also add a function that will be remove item. Here we'll give the amount and we'll use minus amount and also this time we need to reduce the total items and notify all our listeners get the cost of the item and it will add it to the cost and it will also increment the total number of items now let us build an ui for this let us make it as shop Page dot dot you will be having a simple UI but I just add an app bar title will be text shop just add a style now we need to link this widget with our main dot dot file for that instead of our home page that we have created we will not use this We'll use shop page. Now, here we need to have some data. For that, let us create some custom data for our use. Later on, you can use the data from your API. Since we don't have any API, we'll be creating a custom data for now. There will be a list of items. So let it be name electronics cost and the function is added to let it be false for now now like this let us add some more items Now, these are the list of items that we'll be using and displaying that to the user. Now, this is the list of item where we are simply storing the name and the cost and is it is added to the cart or not. Now, from here, inside our body, we need to display this list. So, first, let us just display it. We'll be using list view builder for that. And here inside builder, we'll be using a card and child will be a list type. Here we need to give the item count. Item count will be items dot length. Here the title will be as text of the 
data was inside items. So we need to loop over each of the items and we need to get the name tag and we need to get the name key. So just it will be items and specific index then to specify the name. So it will show the name. Now it is showing all the names. In our subtitle, we can show items for every specific index. We can show the cost. So INT cannot be a type of string. So we need to convert it to string. Or we can do one thing. We can just copy it. And here we can dynamically add and add a currency symbol here. Now let us restart our app. Now it is showing the name of the item and the cost. For our trialing, let us use some buttons. So if items slash specific index, if items of specific index, and now we'll target is added or not key. So if it is true, then we need to show a tick. If it is added, means it is true, then we are going to show a checkbox, but we will show an empty checkbox. Let us use an icon button. Now for our icon, we'll be using icon icons dot check box now else if it is not added then we'll show a check box empty check box Now it is all okay. Now if we click, we need to change the state here. So for this, let us for now let us use set state. Use this property. We'll target this property and set it to false. Because if it's true, then it should be false. And for if it's not added, then we need to also use set state. We need to change it to true. Now let's test it. If we click here, it's getting true. And if we again click, it's going to false. Now let's use the providers that we have created here. It was inside our post provider. Here we are adding the item. And the total number of items is also getting calculated. So inside our shop page, we'll not use consumers here because we don't need to use consumer here. Consumer scan should be only used where we need to update and rebuild the UI. If we only need to listen to the changes, then only use provider dot off context. Otherwise, no need to use. When the user press this button. Then we here we are removing the item. So here let us call it first here. It will be provider dot off. And here we need to specify the type of provider. It was cost provider. And we need to specify the listen to false because we don't need to listen to anything. And here we'll call the add item. Here we need to specify the cost for that. Our cost was inside this items index cost. Just use this. Now we need to also display the total number of costs that is. Now we need to also display the cost when we are clicking. When we are adding the item to the car. Here we'll call remove item and here since the cost will be changing every time we can use a consumer here to rebuild a widget every time 
So inside bottom navigation bar, we'll again use the container. Let's add some margin. The in child will be having an elevated button. And child will be a text. So total cost is this much. So this is how we'll be showing to the user. Now we'll wrap this with a consumer because we need to change and rebuild a widget. For that, we'll be using consumer. But before that, since inside our main dot dot, we are using counter provider. We are not initializing our cost provider, so it will not work. It will give an error if we run the app. It will not work since we are we are dealing with multiple providers. So it's good to have a multi provider. We'll wrap this widget with multi provider, and here instead of child, it will have providers list of providers and here we can store our provider after that now this was our one provider and we need to create one more provider It will be our coin, uh, it will be our cost provider. Now we can access this both of these providers inside our application. Now we need to wrap it with a consumer first because we need to update this widget every time we add an item or remove an item so use consumer it also so specify the return type it will be of cost cost provider here we need to add a builder specify here we don't need to specify it as a child now the value will be dynamic so we are storing, if you check cost provider, we are storing the value inside cost every time we add an item or remove an item. So we can get the value using get total cost. Just use, here we are expecting everything as value. So we'll call value dot get total cost. Now currently it is showing zero. If we try to add something, then you see that our cost is getting changed. So this is how how the providers work. This is how provider work. Now we were also calculating the number of items that we're adding. You can also add your total cost for here we can add number of items like value dot Get total items here we need to send it is item or items so if value dot total items is equal to one then we will send us item otherwise we will send us items so now it's showing your total cost for four items if we remove then it will decrease now if you have one item it will show your total cost for one item is this much for zero items is zero rupees it's not looking that great we can do one thing like just copy the number of items or copy the cost anything we can do if it's zero here we can add the logic 
if it's zero, then we can simply show a size box here. Now, if we add something, it will change the value. So this is the way we use providers. Now, I hope that it will be clear after this video that you can use providers inside your application. It is not required to use provider for every application. We'll only be needing inside a complex application. So that's all. I hope you like this video.